Today's video was sponsored by Jemima Muraidi, a true patriot and a Kenyan nationalist at heart. We always say where there's smoke, there is fire. And as of the last one week or so, with this uh, narrative of the DP being impeached and Kindiki replacing him, that leaves a void in the office of CS of Interior. And there's a name that has been floating around, namely Junet Mohammed. People are touting him as the next CS of Interior. Now, in this video, I want us to look at two things. Number one, why Junet Mohammed is being considered as the next CS of Interior, and I'll also tell you eventually why I believe it's a bad idea. And without further ado, let's get after it. You know, in the Bible, I can't remember the verse in specific, but there's a verse that says, Ask and you shall receive. Junet Mohammed already begged for this job many, many months ago after his colleagues Joho and Oparanya Mbadi, Opio Wandai and Dorcas made it into the William Ruto administration. And Junet Mohammed was saying that a precedent has been set that the first minority leader, John Mbadi, has become a CS of Treasury. The next minority leader, Opio Wandai, has made it into government also. And now that I'm the minority leader, the precedent has been set. And if something comes up, I should be considered. His words, not mine. He's the tip. <laughs> Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency, the Deputy President, Mawaziri na wabunge wenzangu wote, Mweshmiwa Rais Mimi Yangu Nifupi, ni kusema ya kwamba ni kushukuru wewe kwa kupatia kazi minority leader yetu. Mweshmiwa James Opio Wandai, ambaye Mimi nilikuwa whip yake, na bati mzuri ukwa chukua yeye akaniwatia kazi, Mimi nikakuwa minority leader. Kama unge patia ikasi, bali ningabaki tu whip. Ni mzuri umechukua yeye hili na fasi ipatikani. Kwa sababu ya excellency, vile tumekuja bunge, minority leader yetu ya kwanza alikuwa John Badi, umeweka ye minister. Minority ya pili ilikuwa James Opio Wandai, umekua weka ye minister. Minority ya tatu ni mimi sasa kitu kitokea, ujue mimi ndiyo sasa tabadali. Kwa sababu president has been said, wale wamenitangulia yote wamepata kasi. Hata kama ni mambo ya minister ya AU kitu kitokea, mimi ndo hiko hapa Mr. President. Tabadali. So I don't know if the president will consider Junet Mohammed's uh, request to have him installed as the next CS or if he will overlook that. Now the second reason why the president would consider Junet Mohammed is the fact that he hates Gashagwa with a burning passion and he will be used to cripple all Gregory Gashagwa allies politically speaking. If they dare hold any political rallies then suddenly tear gas will be dispersed. If they go for charge services suddenly they will be denied access. If Junet Mohammed is a CS of Interior, expect the anti-Ruto stroke anti-Raila camp to pay a serious price. And I say this with probable cause because not too long ago, Junet was busy daydreaming about putting President Ruto in committee. Here's the tip. Mambo ambaye ameongea jana, ameongo uko Kapsabet. Bona haku ongea akiwa Nairobi. Bona haku ongea akiwa Muranga. Bona haku ongea hapa Narok. Anenda kuinsight watu uko Wasingisu. Anenda kuinsight watu uko Nandi. Na yeye anajulikana. Kwa hiyo tabia, yeye ndio bingo hapa Kenya. Salakiri safari hii, sirikali hiko imara, na taretisa sirikali ya baba na mama wataingia, ukijaribu kuchoma watu kwa kanisa, hakuna ICC ni hapa ndani ya sel, hapa kamiti. Hapa, hapa kamiti, hapa kamiti. Tutaweka we hapa kamiti. Tumelewa na hapo. Kila mwaka ya uchaguzi na vitisho, mara natisha hii community, last election, Sisi watu wa Migori na huko Nyanza alita sisi milisha. Unakumbuka? Ati milisha ingine hapa watutadil na hawa. Nani milisha hapa Kenya? Kuna watu wageni hapa Kenya? Sikila mutu wako haki yake hapa Kenya? Sasa hapa natisha wa? Wakati ya kuchoma watu kwa kanisa imeisha. Safari utashindo wa peupe na ukichesa ulete nyoko nyoko kabiti. Maramoja. Tena zio baba atakweka kamiti. Watu kama sisi ndo utakweka kwa kamiti. Pana chesa na zizi wewe. Unatisha nani ba? Unatisha nani? Unatisha nani? William Ruto unatisha nani hapa Kenya? Wewe unatisha tisha nani? Wewe kondo ambaye hata una meno ya mbele. Meno ya mbele yote ni ya fake. Unatisha tisha nani wewe? Unatisha nani hapa Kenya pana Ruto? Unatisha nani bwana? 
So in line with that, if Junet Mohammed is made CS of Interior, expect anything from him. That, of course, is if President Ruto gives him the job and ignores all the others who stood with him through time in memorial. Because as time goes by, that seems to be the order of the day. Anywho, his why giving the interior CS position to Junet Mohammed will be a colossal mistake for the president. Number one, it would demoralize his troops. I may not like Kimani Ishungwa as a person, but you cannot deny how many times he has had to take the unpopular position for the sake of the president. Passing the first and second finance bill. Bringing the caucus together to impeach the deputy president from his own region, yet he knows he might pay the price in 2027 by losing at the ballot. And it's not just him, there is Didi Nyoro, there is uh, the Molo MP Kuria Kimani, there is Silvana Sosoro, there is so many KJ, there is so many young leaders who have stood with the president throughout his unpopular policies, including Adani. And so they would wonder to themselves, we have stuck our neck out there for this president. And anytime there is a position in uh, the national government, he overlooks us and goes for the newcomers who have just started singing his tune less than two months ago. Before that, they were saying he is a killer, he is a murderer, he is a thief, you know? So why them and not us? That question is slowly but surely going to begin being asked by the faithfuls who have supported the president. So I would personally say, if ever there is an opening in the office of the CS of Interior, or rather in the Ministry of Interior, the president ought to look within those who have been supporting him. It's high time he starts giving a hand back. Otherwise, if he constantly overlooks them and goes for ODM, always ODM, always ODM, slowly but surely the wrong questions will begin to be asked. Wrong for him, right for those who are asking, because it is a valid question and they will begin to exit. Second reason why I don't think it would be a good idea for the president to appoint Junet Mohammed as the next CS of Interior is the fact that it could cripple the president ahead of 2027 if Raila Odinga loses the AU race. Reason being, if Raila Odinga loses that AU race, we know the one thing that he's addicted to, his name being on the ballot. He has never resisted this temptation from 1997 till now. What precedent exists to guide us and inform us that in 2027, he will stay away from the ballot? There is none, except 2002. So, in my opinion, by the president packing his administration with Raila Odinga allies, people who, if the president gives this directive, and Raila Odinga gives this directive, they will follow that of Raila Odinga, it will one day come to cost him. Because when Raila Odinga decides to vie, all his faithfuls who have been installed in President Ruto's administration will not dare be cabinet secretaries of the incumbent president who is looking to be re-elected while competing against Raila Odinga. They would rather resign as a form of loyalty, of course. I mean, history repeats itself. The precedent is already there. A day before Mzemoy announced Uru Kenyatta as Kanu's candidate, Energy Minister Raila Odinga resigned. William Olentimama of the Office of the President resigned. Planning Minister Adu Awiti resigned. And finally, Assistant Minister for Education Moody Awori resigned. All in one night, just before the day Uru Kenyatta was announced. So the president needs to prepare himself for Joho, Oparanya, Opio Andai, John Badi, A.G. Dorcas, and possibly Interior CS Jonet Mohammed resigning some two months before the 2027 election to support their godfather Raila Odinga. Those are some of the dangers of putting all your eggs in one basket. It's high time the president installs people from other areas, not just ODM. But at the end of the day, guys, that's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, 
and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.